Welcome to my channel! <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. Actually, some of you actually already know this. So I am a cross-stitcher. It's a hobby I've had. I've been doing it since I was about 10 years old. And um, about a year and a half or so ago, I started this channel, um, which was just a way for me to share my um, cross-stitching hobby with um, the greater cross-stitching community. Um, and you know, it's just something that's a little fun for me to do. And so, so why, why for my non-stitchy friends, what's happening? I am doing today, and also for my stitchy friends, today is a floss tube extra. So this is not my regular update video um, where I talk about what projects I've worked on over the past month and my things that I've purchased. Um, but today is for a very special, um, reason that I wanted to film this video and for everybody to see, which is that beginning today, September 1st through October 31st on Halloween, I am going to be participating in the on the stitching marathon for a good cause. Super excited about this. And so this is an event that's hosted by three cross stitchers, um, Michelle Bendy, Aaron Two Martini Stitcher and Resist Stitch. And the purpose of this is to basically cross stitch for a good cause. And this year we are going to be stitching to highlight and benefit the coalition to stop violence against native women. And so with that, I want to take a moment to acknowledge that I am living on the lands of the Kawachike people. And I know I mispronounced that and I'm really sorry. I'm going to try better. Um, There'll probably be a correction video at one point in time. By the end of the two months, I will have it down. And uh, in this coalition, um, the purpose, as you may hear from it, is to provide advocacy, education, and share resources to acknowledge that the Native women are experiencing, um, unfortunately, high levels of violence. And the work is important. Um, not only is there a high number of women who are disappearing and are unsolved disappearances, there are um, high level of sexual violence, domestic violence, and sexual um, sex trafficking. And so, so the work is important and I hope that by me doing the stitching marathon that it will help elevate the work that they are doing and then hopefully you'll come along with me and support that effort. And so everything is going to be in the the show, <laughs> the show notes. I guess that's what you can you can call them in terms of the information about the coalition, their website, um, the 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 three hosts that are um, hosting the the stitching marathon, and um, and then my own personal fundraising page that is tied to this cohort of stitches. And there's so many of them. Um, last time I checked, I think there were well over 20 some odd stitchers that had already pledged to do uh, this work. And so, so for me, I am going to be pledging between September 1st and Halloween to stitch 100 hours on one piece. And so what am I going to be working on? I am going to be working on this project, which is Sailor Moon Squad. The pattern is by Tilting Crafts and the artwork is by Daniel Cordick. And so why did I choose Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon, Sailor Guardian of Love and Justice, of course. In this household, we fight for love and justice. And in the name of the moon, I will punish you. Um, although our favorite sailor is actually Sailor Saturn. Uh, so, but, but this is going to be the pattern I'm going to work on. I'm going to do 100 hours on this. And to show you where I am and where I'm starting, this is the beginning part of where I am. So for those of you who are aware of, of the Sailor Scouts, this is Sailor Venus. And so this is gonna be my starting point. I am stitching this for my stitchy friends. I'm doing this on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross with the call for DMC. And so a little bit of a close up. For my non-stitching friends who are wondering, what does any of that mean? 
it basically is, is explaining what the how I'm putting the cross stitching together so the one over one is one strand of thread or floss the strands come in six they come in a, a, a batch of six strands that you pull out one strand and then over one if you look closely you'll see the little grid of fabric it's going to be over one of those little threads one of those little squares so that's one over one it's how that describes 25 count is that there's going to be 25 X's or 25 of one of these squares in one inch. So when I say I'm doing one over one on 25 count, that means I'm going to have 25 of these little X's in a one inch square. I know, I know what you're thinking. For those people who don't cross stitch, that's insane. How on earth are you going to be doing that? Well, I have a trick, which is I got magnifier glasses. Aren't they awesome? Don't I look good? There even is a little light on it. <laughs> so this is my trick. It's just a little, one little magnifier, although my little kit did come up with tip two, six times magnification. And so that is how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna try to share a floss tube extra, probably, you know, either once a week or every two weeks, kind of depending on how things go. So you can see my progress. And my goal is to do two hours of stitching every day. That is obviously going to be more than 100 hours over the course of two months. But there's going to be some days where I won't get to, to two hours. Some days I'm going to be able to do more. Um, and so we're just going to kind of wing it. But we're, the goal is to go do that 100 hours over the course of the two months. Also, if you are on Instagram, come give me a follow. Um, my Instagram is bobo underscore jessie c. And all of that is going to be in the description down below. And um, I'll be posting daily updates and our updates on where I'm going. So what can you do to support this cause? If you're a cross-stitcher, do the same. Put out the, you know, elevate the information, share the information with your non-stitcher community friends. So that way we're putting the messaging out there of the work that the Coalition um, to Stop Violence Against Native Women is, is doing. And so so that's that's the easiest thing let's elevate this let's make sure people know what's going on and the work that's being done do your own cross stitching to bring awareness share it with people so that you're, you're bringing it up do your own fundraiser you can definitely do a fundraiser as well so I am going to be doing a little bit of a fundraiser for those of you who are my friends and family I hope you will consider um, sponsoring me in this and think of it like an MS 150 or like a 5k for the cure things like that, right? So so you're basically, maybe you can pledge, you know, a dollar an hour, right? That's, you know, that'd be amazing if you can do a dollar an hour. I would love it, a hundred dollar donation. You can do, you know, 10 cents an hour and that's a $10 donation. That's fine. Do what you can. I, it's, you know, uh, if, and if you can't um, make a financial contribution, that's okay too. Why don't you share? The work that's being done with your social media and see if we can kind of make sure that people know what is happening and and so I would really appreciate that for my stitchy friends be sure you, if you're not already following Michelle Bendy um, Aaron to martini stitcher and resist stitch they're going to be hosting auctions and other little fun goodies that you can do in order to be able to um, help raise money for the cause and feed your Hall addiction. Let's be real. We all got a hall addiction, don't we? So, um, so that's it. That's my floss tube extra. I hope that everyone will join along. Um, check out the website. Go learn. Share. I'll see you either in a week or two weeks. Just all kind of depends on what kind of progress I have. And um, and my goal is that every time I film one of these extras, that to share a little bit more about the work that the coalition does. So. In the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you're having a stitching good time and see you soon. Bye-bye.